ask you this question, okay? Do you have a fixed mindset or do you have a growth mindset? We're gonna peel back the layers in this video and we're gonna expose what you got going on up here. Check this out. Ain't never gonna stop this fire. I can't believe his business is so incredible and if I can do this, every single one of you can do this. Every single one of you. Hey guys, it is Brent Daniels and I think this video is so important because this is all about the way that we perceive all of these videos that you've seen on this channel. Maybe all the videos and podcasts that you've been listening to, that you've been getting excited about, that you have just been consuming and taking in. But let me ask you a question. When you are watching these videos, when you are listening to podcasts, are you watching it through a fixed mindset? or are you looking at a growth mindset? And let me tell you the difference between both, okay? A fixed mindset's basically saying, you know what, this is what I think will work. This is what I, th what I know is, is what's gonna make me successful. And I'm just looking for a little bit of an edge. I'm looking for an extra tool here or there. Maybe they can provide it, maybe they can't. Or do you go into this? Do you go into these videos? Do you go into the podcast? Do you go into maybe meetup groups or real estate investor associations? that you meet all incredible people and network with and you say, what can I learn in this video, in this podcast, in this interaction with somebody that is doing more business with me? Let me show you a wonderful, wonderful way to be able to do this consistently. What if, what if every time you watched a video, every time you listened to a podcast, you wrote down three things that you learned? What if you wrote down three things that you learned every single time? And I'm not just talking about things that, that are theory or education, but actual instructions. What if it was actual action items that you were gonna take? You actually wrote them down, right? What if on every single video in this, uh, on this channel, you were to go back and to watch them and to write down three things that you learned from it or three things that you're gonna take action from? The growth mindset, I am telling you, I've struggled with this time and time and time again, especially the more that I get successful in the business or I feel like I've done some big deals or this and that, I get stuck in my ways, right? Last year I did, I read 52 books in 52 weeks and that was all about growth. This year, honestly, I've only read a handful because I've just, I, I don't know, I put it to the, to the side. I felt like I already went through 52 books that I felt like I, I had a fixed mindset. And then I started reading again and I started understanding that there's so much more to learn. There's so much more growth that we can all take. So I'm telling you, take this challenge. Challenge yourself every single time. When you go and you network with somebody, think in your mind, what are three things that I can learn right now? Maybe, they, maybe they're new. Maybe they, are, maybe they don't, don't have as much experience from you, but you can still learn from that interaction from the videos. There's a ton of unbelievable people, unbelievable personalities, unbelievable coaches, unbelievable people that will provide a ton of value to you through on YouTube, on podcasts. Are you taking the time to actually write them down and make it a concentrated effort for growth? Or are you just, it, does it just make you feel good that you're consuming this stuff and you're getting ideas, but you're not taking action on them? Because that's what it all comes down to. You get these instructions, you get the education, you get the entertainment, but are you taking action on them? Write down, challenge yourself to write down three things on everything, on all these interactions, on all these videos that you can implement in your business and watch your business absolutely explode. I wrote down this. I wrote down this. This is really, really, really important, okay? Because once we get, once you, once you start taking action, because I know you will, because I know you've got that growth mindset, I know that you're gonna take action on these things, but when you do, listen to this quote. The mental construction of our daily activities is more, more than the activity itself defines our reality. Let me say it again. The mental construction of our daily activities more than the activity itself defines our reality. Let me give you an example of this, okay? Let's say that you wanna make calls. You want to TTP, you wanna pick up the phone, you wanna be proactive, right? Now, do you say to yourself before that, the mental construction, oh, I gotta make these calls, I hope I don't get rejected, I hope I find a deal, all these things. Or do you say to yourself, do you peel it all the way back and you say to yourself, today, in my community, 
someone is struggling. There's a property owner that is struggling and they have no way, they have no escape. The burden of this property is pressing down on them. They're completely stressed out and I'm gonna find that person and I am going to change their lives. I'm gonna have a great quality conversation with a distressed property owner and I am going to help solve their problem. Do you see the difference there? Do you see the, 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 the magic that's in that? All of a sudden you go from, oh, I gotta make these calls to all of a sudden you're, you're the one that is helping support the people that are underserved in your community? How much more passion would you have? How much more belief in the process would you have if you knew that the actual task that you were doing, that daily task that you were doing was going to solve the problem of somebody in your community? How beautiful is that? That's what this is all about. That's what wholesaling is all about. That's what this business is all about. We solve the problems of distressed property owners that, that can't either, they can't solve it themselves or they don't think they have the resources or they don't have the people to guide them along and make sure that, they, that, that their problems are taken care of. That's the beauty of it. It's the mental construction of our daily tasks that we go through every day. Going on an appointment. Before going on an appointment, are you thinking that you're going into battle, right? You're a gunslinger and you have to make sure that you're, you, you know, you're playing chicken with the seller? Or do you go there and you ask questions and you listen to them and you see what problems they have that you can solve? That's the beauty of it. That's when things start changing in your business is when you start making the mental construction of your daily activities are so much, the, 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 that's the reality. What is, and I wrote down his, what is the purpose of the task that you do every day? And what, does, what result does it lead to? What's the purpose of the task? What's the purpose of calling people? What's the purpose of answering people's texts or phone calls when they're asking about the process or asking about what's going on with their property or asking if you, could, if they, if you can help them with, with, um, with solving their problems, right? That's what it's about. How about, how, about when, how about the task of lead follow-up? How about the task of, uh, you've already made this contact, you've already talked to people, you, you have this lead that's obviously in distress and then you never call them again, right? Lead follow-up all of a sudden becomes this unbelievably rewarding activity and task because you know that you're helping people. You know that you're, you're solving a problem, you, that you're providing value in the marketplace. And the last thing here I wanna leave with, and this is a quote from page 13 of my favorite book, The Go-Giver, right here. If you haven't read it, you gotta go read it. I read this every week for a year and it exploded my business, tripled my business. And here's, here is the line from there. There is nothing wrong with making money. Lots of it, in fact. It's just not the goal that will make you successful. What does that mean? What that means is providing value. That's where the success comes from. Looking at your task every single day and, and seeing that from a different mental construction is what makes the difference. You have, to be, you have to be overjoyed that you have the ability. You have to feel so fortunate, so lucky to be in this country, to be making these calls, to have the opportunity to have distressed property, lists of distressed property owners and their contact information and the things to say to them and the way to follow up with them and know what to do on appointments and know how to sell those properties. That, you, that is the, it is so, we are so fortunate. Are you a growth mindset or are you a fixed mindset? Are you gonna learn from every single video, every single podcast, every single interaction that you have, or are you fixed and stuck in your ways and you're gonna limit your growth? You're gonna limit the expansion of your business and your mind. I love you guys all. If you're interested in joining the most proactive group in real estate investing, it is the TTP program. Go to wholesalinginc.com forward slash TTP. Check out the page, see the testimonials. It's bananas, you'll love it. If you want me to personally coach you, sign up for a call there and I look forward to talking to you soon. See you guys.